to me make another video of the remove lag from Roblox update video so it is here today guys and today I'm going to be showing you three ways to remove lag from Roblox so as you guys can see I put a comment in the video of like my video from 2016 and I put a comment in there six months ago and should I update this video and a lot of you said yeah I had a lot of weird Add some weird, quite weird little comments on there. Uh, so yeah, a lot of you said yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So yeah, um, I'm gonna do it today, guys. So you guys can sit back and enjoy and make your Roblox not lag. So a lot of you guys want to play Phantom Forces, Lumber Token, all these new games like Jailbreak. To be honest, Jailbreak doesn't actually make me lag, to be honest. It's more like uh, Lumber Tycoon makes me lag more than anything else, but not on this computer, more old computer I used to, but yeah, no, it's just, I've changed quite a few things, so. Alright, let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is go to, um, if you're on Windows 10, go down to the bottom hand corner, right hand corner, go to notifications, uh, go to all settings, go to system, Go to about, go to system info, and as you guys can see right here, you can all see see all my little specs. I got installed RAM, got 16 gigs of RAM installed. I'm I'm using an iCore 5 X series, 40 gigahertz. So pretty pretty be pretty decent PC. I need a new graphics card to be honest. Now I need to go to advanced system settings. Then go to where it says performance. You need to click on the settings on that one. Now here you can adjust what the appearance looks like. So adjust it for the best appearance, adjust it for the best performance. You can adjust it for whatever you want. Now for this video, I'm going to adjust it for best performance. I'm going to hit apply. Hit OK. Hit OK on that. Yeah, a lot of it, a lot of it looks awful now. I don't like this. Wait. Look at the, look at that. Just there's no transparency. Right. Next. Resolution. Resolution on your PC. Now, this I can't really do a lot for you, but on your side, if you go back to settings and go back to go on to display, you can adjust your resolution on here. And now, as you can see right here, I've got my resolution right there. But if you've got yours right down here, or just small resolution, change it. Uh, this may, depending on if you're on a laptop, this won't work. So this is technically a two-step way. But if you're on a monitor, PC sort of thing, you could do this. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Right, let's get this done. Right. Resolution done. That's the second part. Now, third part is going on to Roblox Studio as I got right here. Opening Roblox Studio up. No, I do not want to capture. Right. Once you're on this little page right here, now it's been quite a while since I've been on here, so yeah. You have to go to File, Settings, and the first thing you want to do is go to Render. Go to Render. Now, once you're on Render, you can adjust a few things. I already level set to one. You have to make sure your your quality level is set to one. Make sure your edit level is set to one. Now, if you head over to Graphics Mode. You can adjust this for whatever graphics you want to go with. Now, a lot of the time, OpenGL is the best way to go. Now, I do have Direct 3D11, but I haven't really tested a lot of things. You have to kind of experiment with all this. So, um, all right. So for this video, I'm just going to go with Direct 3D11 because uh, why not? Okay. Now, frame rate manager, you can put it on automatic. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Now, once you've got all these, you can do reload assets, show bounding boxes. 
yeah, and all this other stuff. I don't really know why you'd want to edit that, but once you've got all that done, you want to edit, go onto a game. If you're on a laptop, this could help you. Don't ever have the screen full screen. As you can see right here, I've got it in windowed mode. The smaller you have it, the better frame rate you're going to have. Believe it or not. But it actually does work. So have a small window if you're on a laptop. Just make the window make it windowed. So as you guys can see right here, this window and it, it looks terrible, but you're gonna have to live with it. So let me just check a few things. Yep, it's all just set. It's all set. Right, if you go to deployment, and there you go. Now I don't really need to do this, but I'm doing it for you guys, so you know it's quality. But you know, that's the best I can do for now. Now if you guys want me to um if you guys want me to recreate this video right here and create get de deleting textures and all that, it's kinda of different. It's um well the folders are different anyway. But the versions and all that, you can still find it the same way as I show you on here, but it's just slightly different. But it still kind of works, depending on what PC you're using. If you're using a Windows 7, it's I don't really know to be honest. But yeah. Alright guys, so thank you guys for watching. And if you've got anything else you want me to go through or do a video on, put a comment below. I'd really like to do some live streaming on... Um, Overwatch, more Overwatch. I don't know. Let you guys let me know in the comments below. Should I live stream on Twitch or YouTube? You guys let me know. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time.